to the metal hand of God. Yeah! Oh. Podcast tonight. I'm your host, Wayne. And I am the Ram guy. And that guy. Why are we doing well, this? Well, darling dear. <laughs> I don't know, because I was just being ridiculous. Because, you know, a few podcasts ago, Adam made fun of me saying that I make too much of an... Of, 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 a, I guess a, a obnoxious entrance, you know, our, our intro, me screaming like that. So I wanted to oh, go a little longer. Okay. That's what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? I, I do. I, I do. Next time, I might even go longer than that. You never know. You fucking never know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm so, a, what wow, is God. going on with you today? Well, um, I worked. I had an interesting day today because I had to go and get a new driver's license this morning. Uh. (laughs) Yeah. Um, I had to renew my driver's license and um, because I am on um, the the insurance that we have is through uh, Caitlin's parents. Okay. That's on the vehicle. Right. It, because, you know, it, it's actually Caitlin's vehicle, so it's all through her, you know, so uh, that's why I was on there. Well, since my driver's license was, um, so to speak, like, you know, outdated, mm-hmm. uh, I had, uh, they were threatening to pull all the insurance from every vehicle, including Caitlin's parents'. Oh, Lord. Yeah, so... I had to miss a couple hours of work this morning to go and uh, get uh, it done. Wow, that sucks. Yeah, I wasn't too bad. I mean, it, I actually went to a different place. I didn't go to the DMV um, because last I went yesterday to the DMV mm-hmm. for my lunch break. I sat there for four hours. Nice. And not a soul was called. <laughs> so I decided I need to find a better place. So I found this other little place that does... Uh, driver's license and title transfers and stuff. And I went over there. It took me 30 minutes. Wow. Yep. That was it. I was in and out and I was done. And the people were very polite and happy and nice. And I didn't have to deal with the fucking smug faces of the assholes behind the counter at the DMV. Well, yeah, some, sometimes I, I think it's like a prerequisite. A lot of times I just hire like people that can be assholes on the spot. Yeah. You know? I was like, Hey, uh, um, Julie, can you be an asshole now? Like, yeah, yeah, like I'd like to renew my, my driver's license. Uh, I need like, th- I need, I need your birth certificate, uh, passport and, uh, <laughs> blood type and a lock of hair. Yes. Yeah, so now please. Oh Here, wait, dude. you don't have any of that. Well then you can go away. Well, you need to put a lot, you need to tape it on, on, on a piece of paper. Oh, you don't have any tape. Well, I, I can't give you any tape. It's not legal. So you'll have to go buy some <laughs> tape, come back, get back in line. <laughs> you have to wait. So you have to wait another 16 hours for this. Jeez, I know, I know, I know the, uh, I know the drill. Dude. Oh, I hate it, dude. I fucking hate it. But uh, I hate DV, DMV, whatever you want to call them. I was gonna say the DVR, but that's not what. The- I don't like the DVR. <laughs> it's too confusing. I like the DVR. It's fun. It does stuff that I like. I've sometimes. never used the DVR. It says DVR on it. I've never recorded a show. You're full of shit. I have never recorded a show. Why? Ever. I don't. I don't want. I don't know how. I want to say I don't know how. <laughs> it's very easy. <laughs> so simple. I, it was like DVR. We should record that. No, the last thing I ever recorded had a VCR tape. Yeah, yeah. 1936. <laughs> yes, 36 had VCR tapes. Hey, they invented them then. Yeah, yeah. They were like six million dollars for one, but you know they yeah. did it. You know, speaking of things that are old and new and everything, I was I was thinking I've been playing. Um, I've been playing uh, Xbox. Yes. Pretty pretty heavy uh, lately. What have I? Well, I downloaded that game about a week ago. The, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, old yeah. Halo Five game. A- old, new, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Yeah, and um, so it got me thinking about when we first started playing Halo <sighs> and and how the game a lot a lot has changed in the game, and yes. yet when I'm looking at the game, it's still the same. It, it's still, I mean, there's asp- I mean, the actual um, storyline. Very, very picturesque. The graphics are amazing. Some of the maps, though, are kind of... I find them... Like, Halo 2. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, some of them are small, all right? Yeah. So, but the yeah. ones that are big 
Good lord, they're huge. Well, they're big. Like when I, I mean big, I'm talking like I could go in the city of New Orleans and find somebody faster than I can in that fucking game. I just I just played um, today a first uh, time I played uh, Warzone. Okay. And it is massive. I mean, it's really? bigger than big big team match. It's, yeah, I, I've yet gigantic. to play that. Um, oh, and by the way, if you uh, back out. Like I found this out um, on our Twitch on our Twitch stream, which you can go check it out. Look for Metal Handed Gaming on Twitch. Uh, that's that's us. Uh, me and Rusty, uh, the big one, uh, were testing it out to try to get the Twitch to work, so we could actually have more fun with this. So if you guys want to check us out playing retarded video game, just, just it's it's us being us, just like we are on the show, except we have mm-hmm. a few other guys. That you may have heard us talk about. It's like guys who actually started the gaming stuff with us and where the name came from. Actually, Rusty came up with the Metal Hand of God when we were doing the gaming. So, yeah, you know, I mean, and it's just, it's one of those things, you know. It's like these are are guys that, these are the grandfathers of the MHOG gaming community. And, uh... So we're all kind of <laughs> we're all kind of there, and uh, it's it's basically the podcast while we're playing video games. So that's pretty fucking funny. Um, but anyway, we were we were trying to get this thing to work, and I've had to back out of the game like three or four times. And then when I tried to get back in, it gave me a notification called the ban hammer. It's it was a ban B A N D H A M M E R ban hammer. What is that? I got banned for like like ten minutes. I couldn't play the game. Oh wow, that blows! What'd you do? I just sat there, and I was laughing. And Rusty was like, "I said, dude, these people are gonna be watching Twitch, and all they're gonna have is this big fucking screen." <laughs> <laughs> it was great. Uh, I said, so and finally it just went away. You know, I I restarted everything, and and I was unbanned, and. Uh, I played for a little. Me and Rusty played for a little bit. It was fun. It was cool. I, I enjoy. Uh, I enjoy Halo, man. It's fun. It, it's never lost its, you know, uh, um, like effect on me because it's just so ridiculous. We can do so much stupid shit to each other. Yeah, yeah, and I'm I'm really digging the uh, the the Halo Five. I think I've played. What am I like a thirty? I'm at like a thirty now. Are you really? That's pathetic, Grum. Why? Because you just downloaded it two days ago. No, I, I've had it for a week. Yeah, well, like, there's what? guys. There's, there's, I'm just putting it out there. There's a couple guys out here. Like, mm-hmm. you know, like, uh, uh, Wire Dogs had it for, like, four years, and he's a 10. Oh, uh, well, I, I just play <laughs> it, like, two hours a day, and that's it. When I get home from work, before uh, dinner, I we did. It, we so. did kind of mention that uh, on on the thing, that, that we were we were like, yeah, Rob's going to be the one that's a 40 in, like, a week. <laughs> <laughs> And the rest of us are just going to be like, yeah, we're just dicking around, you know. Rum, Rum takes things way so serious, man. Well, I'm not taking it seriously. I just played it for like two hours right before I get home. You know, I sit down and relax for a bit. Yeah. You know, and then play for a couple hours and eat dinner, watch some TV, go to bed. Yeah. Um, I, I will be trying to join you more often. It's just that, you know, with with the kid, I got to make sure he's, you know, sleeping before I can actually join. Sure. Him. So, you know, I, it'll be a little later in the evening for me. But, you know. But it's uh it's been it's been interesting to see uh, how the games progressed and how the games that we've played through the years have changed like yeah. uh, from like uh, ColecoVision, Atari to oh, yeah. Sega to PlayStation One. I mean Nintendo, oh, I mean, Super dude, Nintendo. Dude, even even the like the just the titles in general. I mean like look yeah. if you go back and play Gears One and you play Gears Five, it's such a different okay. game. Such yeah. a different game, and it's so pretty. Like. I, th- I remember when the first one came out, we were all like so fucking like, oh my God, this game is like the best looking thing I've ever seen. Yeah. And then we look at the new one and I'm going, how do they make it look better? <laughs> Plus, remember when the first one came out, there was no such thing as high definition televisions. Or You're video. right. Yeah. Because it was it was for a drop title for Xbox 360. Yeah. I mean, when it when it. When it, Xbox first came on the market, Halo was the one to have. If yeah. you wanted to spend the five hundred dollars, you could get the Master Chief Edition green <laughs> old fashioned Xbox with yep. the gigantic brick controllers, and it was crazy. Pretty awesome. I didn't have that one. Yeah, a friend of mine had it. I didn't either. Yeah, I had just a normal one. 
And I mean, then, then you have like, uh, like I always think about this is like, all right. Well, when I was a kid, my dad, all right, my dad was all into computer stuff. He was all into music, you know, things like that. Sure. And, and you know, as he got older, he got slowly got a little deaf because of he was in a band for years. He worked on, um, he was in the Air Force and he worked on airplanes. So the jet engines from the airplanes caused his like uh, the bones in his ears. Yeah, they to, break to break and fuse. So he, he he couldn't hear out of like as well. So um, he would always like when we'd go to the movies and shit. He would always ask my mom, "What did they say? What did they say?" <laughs> and then now, um, um, uh, and now they fucking uh, with with the surround sound and the real loud shit, you know. Mm-hmm. Now he'd be like, "Can you turn that down?" You know, this I always think about that. Like my dad would never have a problem hearing in a movie theater anymore, and like, and then he would look at these fucking like he would play those uh, word text video games. Yeah, and I can imagine him look at those and go, and then look at something like Dragon Age and just be like, "Wow," <laughs> you know. <laughs> I wish I could get his opinion on these things, you know, because I mean, I, I mean, mine. Mine doesn't count because I watched it evolve the whole time. Right. You know, and uh, he would just, I think he would just kind of be blown away. It was like if we just dropped him in right now and he'll be, you know, instead of playing Pac-Man, he's playing fucking this dude walking around shooting people, you know? That's funny. Uh, Wow. This is, you know, what's really weird right now is I was just moving the Xbox around. I said, oh, what is this? It's, uh, uh, you can watch, you know how you watch people game? Yeah, like on Twitch. Yeah, well, yeah, on Twitch, I'm watching somebody do dance. Uh, was it Dance Dance Revolution 2018? That's awesome. It's really bizarre. Yeah, you can do all kind of stuff now with the Xbox, which is kind of cool. You know, I mean, I, I think it's neat. You know, I mean, I've always known that the technology was there. I just never really dicked with it. Yeah, you know, this is this is like uh, game porn for like like closet nerds. <laughs> Because okay. I mean, you're watching you're watching this girl do Dance Dance oh Revolution. My, oh my she's got like so teal good. hair, and she's like all over the place. I was like, what is going on? And you're looking at the comment screen right beside it, and it's like, it's like, oh, look at those legs. I like. Do you like gummy bears? I oh, like gummy bears. Move over to the left. Yes, do that I move. Can, oh yeah, wipe your head. Oh, put the twerk song on. I, I give you my towel, but it's really stiff. Twerk, twerk, twerk. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> So true though. So the dude, true. The, the dude that's doing all the comments is named Unicorn Pudding. Who fucking comes up with names? Uh, Unicorn Pudding. He's locked in his mom's basement. Oh my god! My Unicorn name is Unicorn pudding. pudding pudding because my favorite two things are unicorns and pudding. And pudding. It sounds like unicorn poop, dude. Unicorn <sighs> pudding. <laughs> These fucking retards. I, don't know. I think we were the last generation to have cool gamer tags. Because nothing makes sense anymore. Yeah, I mean, now it's like really out there. Like, I don't even want to. It's almost like we were the last generation to get the cool band names. And, yeah. now, and now, like, these bands, like, um, I wrestled the bear once. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know, asking Alexandria. Alexander. What, well, are you, you what are you asking her, fucker? I mean, it's a name. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Yeah, I know. It, there's just nothing. I mean, it's gotten so bad, people are using their real names now. Yeah, yeah. And, like, I, I, that's why I always said that, um, like, when, when I got in a new band, that I was going to name it something with one one word. Mm-hmm. Because I, these fucking paragraph band names are atrocious. Yeah, they're pretty bad. <laughs> Takes the entire album cover just to put the band name on it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but, uh, Ah, I was looking at my Twitch picture real quick, and it uh, it's what is that? Uh, what was that show I was watching about the werewolves? Not True Blood, huh? no. Uh, um, oh, it was that English one that Wolf was Blood. Wolf fucking Blood. terrible. Yeah, Wolf Blood. Yeah, that was. A, oh, it was awesome, dude. Was yeah, I got, I got. That's my picture on Twitch. That was a terrible show, bro. <laughs> it's awesome. People just don't have taste, you know. It's it's. You know, you got to be able to, you know, step out of your adult mindset and move into werewolves. Homie, that's terrible. Why is that bad? You ever watch Wolf Cop? 
I watched part of it. It was horrible. Exactly. That's way better than that fucking joke. Oh, no, it wasn't. Oh, I yeah, dude. Wolf no. Cop was incredible compared to no. that bullshit. Wolf Cop slop. It was Wolf. awful. Wolf Cop! It was bad, dude. I said, Wolf Cop! I'm actually uh, uh, still on Facebook, a member of the uh, fan club of Wolf Blood. And it's just you, right? It, me and, and this other kid. And yeah. the cast. And the cast, yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm, I hear a, a slight echo. I'm sorry if it, it's aggravating you guys. It's not bothering me any, but I, I know sometimes people get kind of aggravated with it. But uh, I, it's, it's it's a slight echo. I don't know where it's coming from. It might be coming from Rome's side. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'll, I'll try to keep a... No, it's not good. It's not you echoing. It's me. It's like I can hear myself through you some kind of oh, way. Oh, you know? I was going to say because I have my headset on, so it should be okay. Yeah, you good. You good, bro. You good. But, but you need to tell me this, this medical... Breakthrough news. Something Me- medical that- breakthrough news. I have, I have a medical breakthrough news story. You do. I do. I do. I know. Um, and uh, it starts. It starts with Ma King. No, just kidding. Just so <laughs> joking. I like doing that again. <laughs> that was so funny. Like, like I, Adam had no idea. I, and I kept losing the fucking um, the cues. There, that was the bad part. I was like, because we were talking, and all of a sudden you said something. I'm like, is he really? Am I supposed to? Wait! Oh shit! I missed it. <laughs> but whatever. Yes, the 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 world can rest easy now because it's okay to do what? Eat fast food? Yes, yes. Uh, everybody, just to let you guys know, um, McDonald's um, is the cure for baldness. How's that? Well, actually, it's it's the fries. Uh, and they say it may be the cure for baldness. Is a study that says the chemical that they use in McDonald's French fries, which I'm not sure what the base chemical is. It doesn't say. Uh, they did some, uh, a stem cell research team did some stuff, and it actually helps regrow hair on mice. Do they rub the fry or they eat it? No, no, no. It's it's. I don't know what they did to to test it. It's like a giant article, and I didn't fucking wow. feel like going through the whole thing. Well, because it's uh, it's it's interesting. I mean, it really is. It's just the type of the whatever chemical that they're using is is it can you know maybe might help uh, um, grow hair. Yeah. So so that's kind of interesting. Well, here here's something pretty neat. Uh, speaking of mice and medical and stuff, the uh, uh, they just released, and this was this was on the news, made world news. Of course, they're not going to do it for people because that would make sense, you know. Um, they have come up with a protein combination. It's a shot that they have had for years. They just started putting these things together to see what the effects would be. Right. Well, they in, they injected these two very common proteins together inside a cancerous tumor. Nice. And it took the tumor away. Wow. In 98 out of 100 mice, it completely took away the cancer. Well, so there, there that's goes, amazing. That's but incredible. But of course, we'll be dead by the time they release it. Yeah, yeah, but that's fucking incredible, man. It is incredible, and I think they should allow people who are completely terminal, who have these tumors, to opt to have this, to see if it I mean, Give if it a anything... Shot. You know, you're gonna are you gonna go, you, or you want to try this? You know, what else? What else can happen? You know, yeah, I mean, I, I would I would give it a shot. Fuck it. Sure. Why not? At that point, you know, I if mean, it cured it in mice, if it, even if it makes it slightly better, it'd be okay. And it and it's there are uh, these natural protein combinations, so it's it's not like it's you know these weird like plutonium chemical shit that they're injecting in you. This is like natural proteins. Right, right. So, I mean, it shouldn't be that bad for you anyway, but until of course they get licensed and and approved and go through yeah. chem- trials for 15 years, of course, of be course, it. you you're not going to get any of that. We're I'll be dead of cancer before that happens. Sure, but and, you know what, and they'll probably never release it because they they make too much money on it. Yeah, it's not not enough money out there for that. Uh, you know. Yeah. Oh, I got other news. Uh, Amy got new ink. Well, yeah. Yeah. What she got? She just came back. She just surprised me with it. I'm like, wow, look at that. It says, it says, uh, Rom's Biatch. No, it doesn't. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I am going to name this episode Rom's Biatch because holy crap, that's funny. 
<laughs> it says um, she got it on on her forearms, like on the on the, on the side of the forearm, you yeah, know, the, out, the outside. And it says uh, in in the script, it's got always on the other side. It says forever. That's so, fucking cool. Yeah, it's a really nice script. Um, the uh, cool. guy did a really good job on it, uh, all freehand. She found the uh, this friend of ours who uh, knows this artist, and he's he's very good apparently. Uh, but she went to check it out to make sure everything was cool and talk to him and see his artwork. And he freehand, I mean, he calligraphied, he freehand calligraphied it on paper and said something, you know, and it took him about, you know, 20 minutes on each word and gave it to her and said, what about something like this? And she said, that's great. And just had it done. That's so, fucking awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I, I need to get some new, some stuff done. I've actually you been and me trying both. to. I, I, I want to get my uh, life in. A, I know it's hard. You know, when I say this, it's going to sound like like something ridiculous, maybe. But I want to get a a picture that represents a lot of things that have happened in my life. Right. Like like a mini mural. You know I, what I mean? Okay, yeah, like, I'm the same way. Yeah, something something kind of cool that represents like uh, you know my folks and and where where I've you know at in my life to this point and. That sort of thing. I think it'd be kind of cool, you know, to have like your life story in a tattoo. You know, it's It'd always, be cool. Gotta, you need to hurry up and get it done. <laughs> you're getting fucking old, dude. You're getting old. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, if you, you know, where I'm at today, and then what you gonna do with the day after that? <laughs> <laughs> getting so old, my skin's getting thin. It just tears real easy. Yeah, yeah. You have to pull that shit to get it tattooed. Yeah. Yeah, but I just think it's pretty. I'm I'm glad she got it done. I, I really need to get some new ink done. Um, I have a few things that I really want done. Mm-hmm. Um, I just have to, you know, find somebody I trust to do it. You know, well, that's the hard sure. part. There's there's thousands of tattoo artists out there, and I'm sure a lot of them are great. But you got to find someone for you. What's yeah. good for you may not be the person for the other for everybody. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, my tattoo so artist passed away last year, so it's kind of hard to. I gotta go and hunt somebody down else. I mean, there's a couple guys out there that are really fucking talented, and I and I, I really want to get something by them, you know. Sure. Uh, but like, I want some big pieces, you know. Right. Well, you gonna get like that that neck neck tattoo that comes up over your face? Yeah, yeah, look, yeah. Of course. Look like look like Bane. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? that? That was a that was the Bane. Hello. Hello. I can't even do Bane. Adam Hello. does Bane really well. Hello, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't. I can't even think of anything to say that sounds like Bane. You know, uh, I'm Bane. Yeah, it sounds like I'm constipated. I'm in it. pain. That's what it sounds like. I'm in pain, and uh, I'm 800 years old. Hello. <laughs> sounds like a mixture of like Bill Cosby and like. Get some jello pudding. <laughs> yeah. Okay, right, whatever. So, what was that shit about him doing? Uh, what was it like a week, two weeks ago? Bill Cosby doing that comedy thing. Pretty awesome. Really? Pretty you know, awesome. He still hates us. He what? He still hates us. I know he does, but still, I don't care because he blocked us on. We were. We were. <laughs> We, we were I think blocked. We made it in his comedy routine, which is funny. Probably we got blocked by Bill Cosby, and he probably talks shit about us now, which is fucking incredible. Which I'm okay with that. Jeez. Although I would love to go see Bill Cosby live, even though you know he he raped people, or supposedly mm-hmm. raped people. Whatever he didn't get he didn't get accused. I mean, um, convicted. So you can't really say shit about it. You know? Yeah. Um. Speaking of <laughs> speaking of shit. Uh-uh. All right, so I was at work uh, yesterday. All right, we're, yesterday uh, Tuesdays are my fucking um, uh, surgery days. All right, they're like they're like it's our longest day. We got a, we got like five surgeries a day or something. You know, at that day. So we're I'm doing a dental on a dog, scaling his teeth and stuff. And before I do it, my boss comes up to me and uh, and says, "Hey, if you don't find anything on that dog, I will eat that dog shit." Why would he say that? Because he was that confident that we would find, you know, something wrong with the teeth that we would have to take, you know, uh, you know, take it because the, the dude, the mouth on this dog was horrible, like uh, it was, sad. it was so bad. Um, and his brother, you know, 
no, yeah, Paul. no, no stand, yeah. no sit down, Paul. Uh, he decides, he's like, oh, you're going to have to do it now. We're going to see what happens. He's like, I'm going to hold you to it. And I was laughing the whole time. You know, I was like, oh, shit, this is funny. So I get on there and I start doing it. Well, the first side I clean, not a damn thing wrong with those teeth underneath that tartar. Right? They look right. perfect. So I flip the dog over and start doing the other side. Not a damn thing wrong <laughs> with that side oh. either. So I told him, I said, you need to come in here, man. And, and Paul comes in and I said, there's nothing wrong with this teeth. Not even a little bit, you know. And he goes, you sure? I said, yeah. And, and Paul goes, no, you got to eat the shit now, boy. You got to eat make a shit sandwich. <laughs> Start talking shit. <laughs> Start talking shit. And then he actually lifts up the, the towel and the dog's poofing. So he grabs it and throws it in his mouth. Oh, I, no, he did. Ah, to the hand of God, I could not stop laughing. I hit the ground. I was about, st- I was laughing so hard my stomach was hurting. And Paul was like, "Oh my God!" He ran off to the back, <laughs> to back I, of the room. I would have, I would have done it, and then reached over to Paul and gave him a big kiss. Wait, wait, wait. So, <laughs> so we're dying, dude. We're dying laughing like we couldn't stop. And so he's he's making these faces, and he finally swallows, you know, and and then um, he walks away, and I'm like, that was fucking disgusting, man. And he's laughing, and he goes, it was a good magic trick, right? I got you, motherfuckers. I was like, what? That son of a bitch, you know, because you know he's a magician. Right. He, he fucking um, palmed um, raisins. Ooh. He had oh. raisins in his hand. Yeah. And he made it look like he picked it up and threw it in his mouth. That is so gross. That's Dude, funny. No, but it was so fucking hilarious because he got us. He got us bad, dude. He really fucking did. And I had to give him props on that. That's awesome. And uh, I just want to say um, that's some of the weird shit that happens at veterinary clinics. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Though. I might, I might have to go. Like you guys have a good time. I might I have to I go fun. back and just like take out his name because that's pretty bad. I uh, I never have fun at work. But yeah, I thought that was funny. I thought I thought you'd enjoy that story, Rum. That was funny. Yeah. Funny. Um. But yeah. So what else you been doing, dude? You've been, you been just you just getting ready for our trip. That's about it. Uh, how much longer y'all got till y'all leave? Uh, the it's uh, last week of March. That's cool. And then you're going for how long? Like 20 some days total. That's crazy, dude. That's awesome. That's really going to be cool. Yeah, it'll be. It'll be. At least I'm on vacation that long, like 22 days. But yeah, we'll be we'll be going. Uh, we're going to spend. Uh, uh, and I, I really wish you guys. Eventually, I, you guys have got to try to do this with us. I know. I know money's tight and things like that. But, yeah. you know, you know, just, you know, sell the kid or, you know, drop the kid off somewhere. <laughs> and, you know, it's cool. But, um yeah, we're going to spend a few days, like total of five days in Spain. And then uh, we're going to leave from Spain and then just go from country to country. Very to country. cool. Very fucking cool. And then I'm, um, we're going to do, um, like I said, I told Amy, I said, we're going to uh, record it. My, my goal is to record it like a uh, PBS travel show. So you, uh, have you ever watched a PBS travel show? Yes, I have. Okay, there's there's a guy on there, and I find it funny. His name he has two first names. His name is Rick Steves, and uh, he's like, he's very, it's very corny. It's very it's very out there. And he's like, "Hello, my name is Rick Steves, and come with me on an adventure." <laughs> he's not he's like, "Hello, this is Rick Steves, and I'm gonna do no, this." No, that'd be cooler, you know. But no, he's he's not. So I want to do that, and I want I want to walk around the boat and go. You know, interview people, then they don't know they're being interviewed. You oh, know, dude, and see, and so try good. to find the drunk people who are like, so hey, we're doing a we're doing a TV show, and I'm trying to get to like you know, just get some interviews of people for no reason, you know, and just talk to them, and it'd be funny. So, I'm all about that, dude. Like, yeah. really, really, it's gonna be awesome. You want me to? You gonna do it video or you gonna do it uh, just audio? Well, I'm gonna do it video. Um, if I can, and then I want to do something else audio, but, uh, I want to do it video. Um, try to get some of the foreigners and be like, Hey, we're American TV, American TV, number one. Okay. Yeah. That'd be good. Dude. 
Um, oh, by the way, people, we are now on Spotify. I don't know if anybody announced that yet. Spotify. Uh, we are on Spotify, so you can download us anytime you want and listen to us all day long. So it's pretty downloading awesome. Downloading right now. Um, but anyway, yeah, dude, we can fucking, dude, I would love, we cut up the videos maybe and put them on like our YouTube channel. That way yeah, people, you know, people can check that out. Uh, we'll do, of course, we'll do the, like we did before, where in the world is the rum guy, the audio stuff, because people yeah. fucking dug the shit out of that. So that'd be really fun. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, we'll do that and, uh, but uh, it'll be it'll be interesting, uh, you know, being in a different country or a couple of different countries, yeah. and um, you know, there's you know, looking forward to it. So it's been a, it's been a rough year, and uh, as yeah. much you know, everybody has had a rough year. It seems like so. Uh, he means 2017, not 18. I'm starting to think 2018 was a pretty shitty start too. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll go. I think it'll be cool. So, uh, yeah, I'd like to get, uh, if, if nothing like major like that, like big, big like that, I would like to do another MHOG trip. I think it would be cool. I would like to. I think it would be fun. And you know what I would really like to do, too, is I'd like to redo, like, one of those camping things we did. Oh, yeah, that'd be fun. Just, like, just get a cabin this time. So and- fucking stupid. It was so much fun, though. You know what? We should get a cabin and remake Friday the 13th type movie. That would be fucking hilarious think that would be really really cool but don't use the hockey mask you no 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 something else up. but but yeah do do like a, a haunted cat like haunted camp type serial killer thing for you too that'd be funny that would be really really cool yeah i'd do that that'd be great um i i, I sent you a picture i just wanted to, to show you that yeah um, i got it it's funny uh you see rum sent me this amazing thing i think i've mentioned it before on on the air but <laughs> But I, I never really, really thanked him for it. Um, it's like a tapestry, like blanket kind of thing. But but it's a giant picture of him with a beer glass, and it's amazing. I love it. It's, it's, it's incredible. It's a big beer glass, isn't it? It is. And I hung it up in the studio, the room, <laughs> because that way, no matter how much I record or who I record with, rum is always on the show. He's right there next to me. Always staring at me with this fucking look, like, "Yep, I sent you a fucking giant picture of me." <laughs> and <laughs> it's great. I love it. it, it it's fucking fantastic. Because as soon as I opened it, Caitlin liked the shit. She died. She couldn't stop laughing. She's like, <laughs> "He's fucking retarded." I said, "Yes, he is. He's amazing. He's the." I was guy. wondering what the reaction was when she when y'all opened Son, it. Son, I couldn't stop laughing, and she was just. Uh, she was like, oh my God. She shook her head. Then she, my son was sleeping on the couch. So she yeah. covered him with it and took a picture of you laying your big head on top of my kid. It was awesome. Best baby it's like blanket. A hug. Ever. It's like a hug. It was the best baby blanket of all time. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's cool, man. It's awesome. It's a really unique gift and it's probably one of my favorites. And I think. We should uh, look into having stuff like that made for the, you know, for us, for the fans. Yeah, that'd, be, that'd be fun. I think that'd be great. That'd be like some really, really neat giveaways. You know, like say, say we have a contest and the winner gets like one of those pictures of all three of us together, all four of us together. You know, the one we took at um, the restaurant where we're all together. Right. Yeah. That'd be fucking great. Oh, yeah, that'd, that'd be, be so funny. Um, I, I, I found a place where we can get uh, playing cards made. Ooh, that'd be even better. Yeah, everybody can. Everybody's pictures on a different card. Yes, uh, well, you know, this is gonna be racist as fuck. But Kyle or or Kevin has no, to do it. no, 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 don't do it. <laughs> no, what? No, no, what? No, no. I, I I picture Kyle and Kevin more like like I was gonna like say three Jokers of or or um, you know, the Joker. That's what I was gonna say. The Jokers. Yeah, that, that's that'd be wow, awesome. Oh, you know what the fuck? Are, what are you talking about? I knew people were gonna think I was being racist. Pigs, <laughs> fucking assholes. Think I was gonna say that you need to be on a spade? No, that's so wrong. No, You're no. so wrong. No, I wasn't thinking that at all. God, fucking oh, well. jerk offs. Actually, I'm waiting for um, uh, you know, th- there's a new there's a new uh podcast coming out soon. I'm just letting everybody know ahead of time. It's called Heroes and Heels. Not heroes in heels, but it's called heroes and heels, like heels as in the bad guy, you know? Okay. It's a wrestling uh, podcast. It's hosted by 
two people that have actually uh, are associated with our show. Uh, one is he, they go by they go by um, um, uh, their their wrestling names. I guess you can say it's not really wrestling names, but it's 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 their alter egos. You know, one is uh, one guy who's on it. He's the main host. His name's Kid Cook, and the other one is the Enforcer. And both these guys really cool dudes. Uh, actually, I am producing the podcast. I, they come over here to record it. I recorded the first episode about a couple weeks ago, and they're going to be setting up their account pretty soon. So I want you guys to go check it out and make sure you listen because it is a uh, podcast brought to you by the MHOG. So it, it, they are very much like us, except they talk all about wrestling, professional wrestling. Very cool. Yeah, so I'm actually waiting for Kid Cook to get back to me because there is a guy at his work that I want to give a shout-out to because he's a huge fan. He wants to buy merchandise from us when we get it. He's, he's just a really cool dude that really likes our show. And the dickhead won't send me the guy's name. So, huh. so just so you guys know... <laughs> And I know you're listening out there, buddy. He didn't send me your name, um, and he's being a douche. He's not answering me, but he's probably working, so that's probably why. He's probably sitting next to you, and you're listening to the, the past episode that was just on. But uh, <laughs> but just so you know, we know you enjoy our show, and we appreciate every fucking minute of it, man. Yeah. Very um, cool. So, yeah. But, no, check out uh, Heroes and Heels. Uh, it should be out. Well, I want to say within the next month. Um, we also have some other big announcements coming, uh, dealing with us and other things uh, that we're trying to, you know, make happen. Um, so within the next two months, uh, there should be a big uh, change and announcement. So it should be pretty cool. Neat, 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 neat. That's always good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, it's it's something. Something, brah. Yeah, you know. But uh, I'm I'm always excited for new stuff, and I'm, I know people out there are digging it. Um, there's a few other podcasts, new stuff out there. There's some video podcasts out there that you should, you should go check out. Rum. What's that? Um, there is a uh, Savage Gaming Network, uh, not network, uh, uh, podcast. The Savage oh, Gaming okay. Podcast. Uh, it's friends of ours. Um. Uh, they used to be on a, a few other shows, and they decided to put this one together. It's all strictly gaming, and nice. um, yeah, it's it's pretty awesome. So uh, you should check it out. It's on YouTube only, so it's a okay. YouTube show. Definitely have to check that out. Yeah, um, actually, it's been past guests. Uh, all those guys have been on our show. Uh, Paul Underwood's been on our show. Yeah, um, Shane Troxler, he's been on our show, um, and Kevin's been on our show. So yeah, all those guys have been on our show, and and they're. they're Fantastic at the show. I enjoyed it. They're like six episodes in, so go check it out. Nice. Oh, how's the uh, how's the music? How's it going? How's the band? The band is doing well. Um, actually, I just talked to uh, the singer from Green Jello today, and we're trying to arrange some things here and uh, making moves, man. Making moves. It's doing good. Cool. Um, also, I wanted to bring up the 800 Holy Nights are going on all this month in February at Babylon. Don't forget. It's got, always a good show. Got tons of fucking bands. Uh, you know why? You know why I like uh, the, the Babylon as a venue. I like it because uh, you. It's 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 not like you're going to a big, an overly big club and a stage really far away that you can't really interact. Right. It's 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 like a really cool. It's like a big block party type atmosphere. It's a it big. Is fun room to be in you know you, you if you don't know anybody by the time you leave you're going to know everybody right it, it, sure. it, it it's it's a great place i mean i enjoy going there i enjoy booking shows there it's just really fun um and what's really cool is with the with the the unholy nights that is going now is you're going to have like their each show is different like there's all kind of bands and i put them all together there's not the same type of music in each show you know Sure. So it's really cool, and and if you can't make out all of them, make at least a couple of them. Um, it's seven bucks to get in. There's four bands a night. Um, the drinks are always flowing, and you also have food. We have food this year. Like uh, we have a guy named um John Kennedy. Uh, he mm -hmm. comes in on Friday nights. His company's called Kraken, the Oyster Slayer. And uh, he he actually uh, that's what he does. He uh, shucks oysters, 
Wow, that's cool. And um, he does uh, raw oysters. You can and there's two different kinds of uh, char grilled. He does. So hmm. yeah, you can come to go look up Babylon Sports uh, Sports Bar in Metairie and then look up um, all their events. This month is full of the 800 only nights. They have both fucking uh, menus in there for both uh, things. Uh, and he's on the Friday and our friend, our lovely friend, our brother, our cohort, uh, a co-host now, uh, Kevin Smith, Kyle's brother is, yes. he comes on Saturday nights and he does what's called Kev's. <laughs> this is Kev's super meat treats. Okay. That's his name with his little company going on right there. He That's does cool. he does burgers, dogs, you know, stuff like that. Oh, neat. Uh, neat, he, neat. he's got you. he's got two really cool <clears throat> items on the menu that are, are strictly just for this event. He's got the unholy burger, which sold out last Saturday. Sold out of all of them. Nice. Um and he's got the M Hog Dog, which is a which actually a bratwurst, jalapeno bratwurst with like all kind of shit on it. So it's pretty fucking awesome. That is really cool. Um, yeah, so come out, eat some badass food, hang out, listen to some killer fucking music. You know, it's 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 a lot of fun. Nice, very nice, man. Yeah, and we're playing the last night, so if you want to see me, come out. All right, very very cool. Shameless and it's blood. it's very. Um, uh, I've I've heard uh, I've heard a you know a couple songs, and it sounds very. Uh, oh, it, it it's very. Uh, like um, Starship, you know, I really dig it. It's that real retro, you know. Are you talking about my band? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so like Starship. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's it. Built this city. Do, do, do. I'm rocking, bro. Bro. Just like when. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's not true. So not fucking true. It sounds like the Starship crashed. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's fun but it's do. fun, you know. We have a good time. I mean, like, like, like y'all know, we played with Green Jello with our friends and and Black Creole and Misled. That was fucking awesome. Yeah, Black Creole, very good band. But oh yeah, dude, really good guys too, man. Like you know, uh, I am quote unquote not their official, but I like you know manager kind of thing. They, you know, they, what's funny is back in the day, I was in a band called Misled. Are you really? Yes, I was. Oh wow, that's terrible. Yeah. Yeah, we had uh, my lord, dude. That, was Chris Rico the singer? No, okay. no, Just no. But uh, yeah, it was a long time ago. It was up in PA. Long, long uh, actually, that ago. was the. Uh, do you know what the name of my first band was? Rum's Cock Punch. No, but that would have been better. <laughs> what? It was called Jester. Oh, that's terrible. Jester was the name of the band. We had a cool ass logo. It was this crazy psychopath looking jester like court jester with uh doing uh an uh, impression of a suicide king nice but that's ter- i mean that's it, so it looked really terrible. cool but uh we should have had a better name uh but uh yeah that that was the band i was in when i did my first talent show with the uh, nice. high school. Nice. yeah i was in a band in high school called hatred yeah, that's that wouldn't have gone over as well. We did we did a talent show though. Was I was weird. in a very rural area, you know, like area. I know, I know, I know. He, so. yeah, he killed somebody, but that's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It happens. <laughs> ah, so the idiot finally, Kid Cook just got back to me. The guy's name is Cody Parks. Cody Parks. Cody Parks. This is for you, man. <sighs> <sighs> Cody Parks, number Go one fan. Cody. Cody Parks, yeah. You are a fan of the MHOG podcast, and we appreciate you. Well, Cody Parks, you know it. <laughs> He's going to park one up your ass if you keep it up. <laughs> yeah. Very cool, man. Nice, yeah. to, nice to hear from you. That's right. You didn't hear from a motherfucker. Well, I mean, I'm sure we will. Well, we I hope. A fucking song called Cody Parks. I hope so, because Cody Parks. Cody, you know what I should? You know what I should do? I should just, I should name the episode Cody Parks. You know what I just did? What did you do? Shit yourself? No, I just accidentally bought a Xbox controller. I thought you accidentally buy one. <laughs> I just held the button in too long. One of the uh, the football ones. Oh, <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> 
That's terrible. He has yeah, a shitty I controller. I just spent over $100 on it. <sighs> wow, dude. I just bought a Steelers Xbox controller <laughs> with rubber grips nice. and engraved. Oh, sweet. So you, so you actually bought the, the Elite one. I don't know what the hell I just bought. No, that's the Elite. If, if, it's, if it's like 150 bucks, you, you bought the Elite one. Oh, great. No, it was, it's like 100. It was just 110. So maybe I got a, got on sale or something. Oh, yeah. You got a cheaper one. That's cool. Yeah. 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 I'm real excited about it. I can't wait to tell my wife. Yeah. She's going to punch you in your dick. Yeah. Uh-huh. I was like, hey, I'll let you get a tattoo. Yeah. And she said, well, it only cost me 50 bucks. No, it didn't. I know. <laughs> Shut up. I'm just, <laughs> just saying. Yeah. I know how wives are. It's only $50. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Per letter. <laughs> Cody Fox. Cody. Cody Parks, Cody Parks. That's, I swear to God, that's it. I'm going to name this episode Cody Parks. Okay. And no that's one's going to understand that at all until they get to the end of this episode. So I don't know. I don't even remember what I said I was going to name it before. Yeah. Rom, Rom's Biatch. That's it. Rom's Biatch, Cody Parks. That's the name of the episode. No, don't do that. It makes it sound bad. You know. It, it, sounds, it sounds awesome. It sounds so good. Cody, I have no, Cody, I have no control over anything. In Cody, show. I'm just telling you, you're Rom's biatch. No. Yes. No, I've cut too many. Rom, Rom, you need to get that <laughs> tattooed on you, Cody. Cody, if you put that on your body, I will give you a t-shirt for free. No, don't do it. I will give you a t-shirt and a hat. Well, I'll give you a t-shirt not to. How's that? I'll give you a t-shirt, a hat, and an autographed picture of the three of the four of us, five of us, yeah. however many yeah. of there are of us. <laughs> There's a whole fucking ton of us. So anybody, I'll get you an autograph from even Mart. It looks like a it looks like a platoon photo. Yeah, yeah. right, right, <laughs> right. And it's just the funny thing is like we're not we're not always on the shows, all of us. All together, yeah, all together. You know, yeah. I, but but we are a fucking army, and and, we, and that's how I like it. It's it's weird how it has grown. Yeah, which is which I find very cool because what 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 we started off wanting this to be is a a social network. Yeah. It was, we wanted like-minded individuals who just want to have a fucking good time and not worrying about being PC yeah. and all this. And we just want to talk and be who we are and the way we want to be, you know? And, and I think it's lacking anymore. The only, I guess the only acceptable way to be anymore is like, if you, you know, dress up in ladies clothes or right. whatever, which we don't do that anymore. Or if you so, chop your dick off or grow whatever. penis. Yeah. Whichever. But, uh, it started off very, you know, <laughs> modest, and then it just grew and it grew and it grew. And what's great about it is, is once you once you're in it, there's not a member of the group that would not help you yep. if you needed it. You know what so I'm saying? So true. So true. Somebody's always got your back. And so and, and and the best part about it is, is like when you're, it, it's it's we're like, we're like a weird gang. When you're in, you're in for life. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, we don't ask gonna it. Be a tattoo. There's going to be a tattoo involved. With I this. I need to get one. Like seriously, I mean, it's fucking. We're 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 pushing almost what we're this six years this year. No, no longer than that, bro. No, no, no. I'm talking about the podcast in general. Oh, the podcast. I'm talking about MHOG. MHOG has been almost. Fuck, dude. It's twelve. I don't know. I was I. Well, I'm, I, my Xbox hasn't been on there for 10 years, I think. Well, I lost all my fucking information when I got a different Xbox, so I had to start over again. So uh, all my time is gone. Right, but, right, right. Uh, I don't know, man. I, it's I, it's got to have been 10 or 11 years. Yeah, 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 for sure. For sure, easy. Uh, but yeah, so like, so it's pretty impressive. Like, So we all need to get like some ink, I think. Yeah. Well, you know what? When I met you, I think I was... 29 28 what uh don't think so yeah yeah weren't you you were about the same dude. Uh, probably yeah you might be right you, were, you no seriously because you were in resurrection man uh, yeah. the first time around yeah um the, the fat city was still there i would i was living in i had just moved to that apartment so yeah it had to be at least yes yeah, a long fucking time ago Long time ago, man. Yeah, I remember when you guys came to see us at the at the bar. That was fucking cool. Yeah, yeah, that was right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's easy to find out. All we got to do is find out when uh, Halo first came out. First one. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Let's uh, find it out, sir. Uh, do, 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 do. Halo. Good Lord. 
Nah, it's been longer than that. Where the fuck is it? No, we we didn't start playing Halo together. The first game we started playing together wasn't Halo, I don't think. What was it? I don't remember. I know the first game I played on the Xbox 360 was uh, Chrome Hounds. Uh, you were still playing that when I met you, but right. Halo yeah. 1 came out in 2001. Yeah. So I think, I want to say we started playing Halo. Th- when did Halo 3 come out? Uh, fuck, 3. Yeah. I'm going to, well, they pretty much released one a year there for a while. Let's see. Uh, Halo 3 came out in 20, uh, 2007. That's probably when we started playing. Maybe. Because, I mean, I played Halo 1 and 2, but it wasn't online. Oh, I was playing it online. Right. The only, yeah. I started playing Halo and online on Halo 3. Okay. So I think that's when we started playing, so 07. Yeah, because I, I used to uh, play it so much. I used to go... Um, I had the Xbox backpack that held the controllers, and I could take... I had my uh, uh, an extra router... And we would go to different people's houses and link up, and you had to have the router yeah. and the switch box and all yeah, like the other land, shit. the land games. Yeah, 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 man, that was the that was the fucking thing to do. Fuck poker night. We were playing <laughs> Halo, and then um, so we had started that this this team beforehand before Rum joined, and we were called the Brown Bombers. Really good name change, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We and, were, and then we couldn't find the same logo that was uh, on. Um, cause it was me, Rusty, Wheaty, and Wire Dog. No, oh, and you're missing somebody. Who? The dude. The dude? Uh, what was his name? You always miss him. Mike? No. Um, because he was there too every now and then. No, what was the, uh, God damn it. The dude. I miss the, the black dude. dude. The black dude. Man, we were playing. We played with him forever. That's the damn shame that I can't remember what you're talking about. You, you can't remember, and you're the one who introduced me to him. He was actually one of the original members of the Brown Bombers. There, really? Yes. No, because I thought it was only the four of us. No, dude. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. And I, God, that's really going to drive me insane that I cannot remember his name. Yeah, yeah. He but- actually contacted us a couple years ago. You're talking think- about Mark? No, his name wasn't Mark. Okay. Cause he, Mark didn't join us until this is real good podcast, by the way. Uh, he didn't join us till later until we were playing like Halo and stuff. Either or, you can cut this out. But anyway, no, the I guy, ain't cutting uh, this out. Fuck that. These people need to hear it. The uh, this this I'm so upset that I can't remember his name. You should be really ashamed. You can't remember his name. Anyway, the, um, I actually talked to him about three years ago, briefly, and. Uh, when I saw him pop up on a screen, I messaged him. I said, Hey, I was, how you been? Whatever. I'm sure he's on my friends list still somewhere, but, uh, it was his, uh, his, uh, fiance. He got arrested. Wow. He's, he's in jail. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, I don't remember, man. It sucks. My bad. Yeah. Things happen, dude. I mean, you know, that's 12 years ago, at least. At least. Yeah. You know, Oh, well, that's but, what it is. But anyway, um, yeah, so that, that's how it works. That's how far back we go. And, uh, you know, so we'll see what the future brings us. Uh, but when, did we, when did we pick up Adam? Adam came in five or six years ago when we started doing the podcast. Oh, that's right. Well, right when we invited him to go on that camping trip. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah, because I became friends with Adam. And then I was like, look, we're all going on this camping trip. You want to come with us? Yeah, no. that's right. That's right. All right. Cool. That's cool. Yeah, he he was too good for his son, but that's uh, all right. He, he's warmed up a little bit now. Yeah, so, you know yeah. he's he's doing what he needs to be doing. He's drinking the cranberry. He's uh, thank God staying healthy. You know that's what we like to hear. Yeah. So yeah, but, uh, that's good. It's good. Good. Well, um, I think we're done, man. Yeah, yeah. I think we're done for the for this episode. Uh, cool, cool, cool. I want to thank everybody for joining us, especially Mister Cody Parks. <laughs> Cody. <laughs> Cody Parks is our number one fan. Yeah. Don't don't burn your hand because I know what you do for a living. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cody Parks. All right. Well, on that note. You were Parks. Wayne. I was your host, Wayne. 
Cody and Parks. I'm the, and I'm the rum guy. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, to keep it Cody Parks. Not Cody. Not Cody. Not Cody. Not Cody. Metal. Metal. Whatever. Whatever. Later on. Later on. Adieu, adieu, parting is such sweet sounds. Go ahead and run. Run home and cry to mama. Get the fuck out. Okay, then. That's it. <laughs>